President Biden taking his socialism sales pitch on the road as far left agitators continue to harass moderates who dare defy his agenda. The president out in Michigan today trying to convince Americans to support his massive spending plan, even while his own party isn't even fully on board. I know there's a lot of noise in Washington, there always is, but it seems to me a little more than usual now. Anywhere from 40 to 80 years in America, there's an inflection point. We have to choose what direction we're going to go. These bills are not about left versus right or moderate versus progressive or anything that pits Americans against one another. These bills are about competitiveness versus complacency. To oppose these investments is to be complicit in America's decline. And after President Biden said following a female senator into a bathroom stall is just a part of the process, guess what happened? Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema once again hounded by activists while walking through an airport. And then they got in her face once she got on the actual plane. <laughs> All right, uh, Dana. Yes, so sir. the Democrats can afford to lose three votes in the House, zero votes in the Senate. Do you think Joe doing this sales pitch is going to move anything? Well, I, um, I don't necessarily think so because th th he doesn't have to convince people in Michigan. Right. He has to convince two senators. Right. And those two senators are the ones that he just basically said it's okay to follow them into the bathroom and <laughs> harass them. He should said, he have gone to Arizona process. and West Virginia instead of Michigan? I think he should apologize to her. Oh. And I think that um, she will not forget it. And this, you remember that we've had a long line of this, right? He ran for office saying, I am not... I will return to normal, and I am civil, and I am mature, and everything will be calmer and nicer. And that is just turning out not to be true. When he takes their side in ter of, of these people that uh, went into the bathroom to film her, which is just, uh, first of all, never have conversations in the bathroom on your phone, ever. Don't ever take a phone <laughs> into the bathroom. It's just horrible. Uh, I don't think she'll for, for, forget it. So he can go to Michigan and he can try to maybe help a little bit for Elise Slotkin, for example. She's um, one of the congresswomen there that's in a very tough swing district and has, will probably face a pretty good competitive uh, Republican. But the other thing is that if you think just back when you had the Democrats encouraging the uh, harassment of people like, remember Maxine Waters? Yeah. And Cory Brooker said, get up in their faces. Mm -hmm. And that that's the way you resolve things. And you can only resolve, uh, you can only afford to lose two. And he held those, he held his finger, two people, and he's very vindictive about it, right? So that tells everybody on the left that's so mad at Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin that you're, you are validated. So go ahead and go after them. So I, I don't necessarily think it helps him get their votes, no. And I also think it was a huge mistake. It's like a deplorable moment. Oh. If you look at the 72% uh, percent of independents who are like, I'm not, I don't like what's going on here. That kind of thing, chasing people into a bathroom and saying it's just part of the process, they don't like that. Greg, I remember when people used to love maverick senators from Arizona. Mm -hmm. Those now are, it's the other could, way around. Yeah, when you could use them. Right. They love you when you use them. This is a microcosm of the Democratic Party. You have moderates and moderates, and you have unstable idiots who command an outsized presence on social media. And I think what we're seeing, what we don't like about Joe Biden, is that he throws everybody over the side for the radicals because he doesn't understand their presence or their power. If he had the cojones to stand up to them, this would be yep. a different story. But he's terrified of the Twitter mob, and that was a Twitter mob in physical presence. Look, the obvious question for me is, if all of what the Dem Democrats want is so good, why must they be so coercive about it? Mm -hmm. Why chase people? Shouldn't the sell be really, really yep. easy? So why, do you, why, why are the coercion tactics somehow getting worse every single year, getting in people's faces, shouting at them, saying there is no sense of dialogue? It's like socialism in general. If, th if this is something that is so good for us, why do we find it so repulsive? Why does it need to be rammed down our throats if it's something that is so utopian and so wonderful? So I want to get to my next point, which is a far larger point. It's going to take about an hour. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. So you wonder why you have these polls that show that a large number of people want to secede when they talk about the country splitting up and every, everybody pulls their hair out. Oh, my God. It raises a question. If the Dems hate half the country so much and it's that half that want to split, why should you care, Right. If the people you hate want to leave, mm -hmm. you should be ecstatic. So why are you so filled with hate about the people who just want to get out of there? You should just let them go.
So I have a, I have a, a solution for this. We're in a stage of a marriage where one spouse needs to walk out, right? And it's not for a divorce. It's a trial separation. Right? Because right now, the, the, politi the politicians are letting us down. We have no more law enforcement in, in major cities. D d the crap's going to hell in a handbasket. We need a trial separation for two years. One of the states has to take, have the guts and go, I'm first, I'll step out, <laughs> right, Texas. And then somebody Texas. else falls. And we do it for two years, trial separation, see if it works. I have a feeling we'll miss each other, and we'll all come back better and stronger. The sex will be great. Okay. <laughs> Separate oh the union. <laughs> they tried that once. There was a bloody yeah. civil war. The no, last you won't need a happened. war for this. You don't, you don't need no a war, war for this. No war, no. See, the people, the people okay. who hate you should be happy if you want to leave. Do you see my point? There's no need for war. If you just walk out the door with your suitcase. Okay. But so we can just Austin get rid of would Vermont. Like the word. Okay. You know, this is not going to work. Let, let, let's address not Greg's larger point, but maybe the medium-sized point he made about the left using brute force now. Kind of too lazy to persuade with words instead now just jamming everything down people's throat by force or cancellation well I think force is probably an extreme term since she was not injured though being violated in the bathroom is a really ultimate sin and I was surprised that she didn't just walk back out you know I don't know who would have continued um Wait, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> no I would hold it and it's hard for me to hold it these days um, blaming her bladder <laughs> I am. Uh, okay, quick. So I went back and I looked at what's actually in the bill. And it's a lot, a lot of things, obviously, including, you know, universal pre-K, child care, Medicare expansion, child tax credits, drug prices. President Biden spoke a little bit about what would happen with the Hyde Amendment. That's somewhere where Joe Manchin is going to be non-negotiable. And the progressives in Congress say that that's incredibly important to them, perhaps a sticking point. But what is interesting is there is behind the scenes negotiations going on. It just came out overnight that Joe Manchin and Biden have been talking privately. Manchin is now shifted to $1.9 to $2.2 and Congresswoman uh, Jay Paul has said, I could talk about $2.5 trillion. Suddenly, you're in the Nancy zone, yeah. right? You're somewhere where you can make progress with that. And Kirsten Sinema, the big difference between her and John McCain, it's certainly on voting record, but John McCain loved talking to people. He loved talking to constituents, and he loved talking to the press and to the cameras. And I think that she really needs to start explaining herself more publicly. Joe Manchin has, for his part, been on every Sunday show saying, these are my problems, this is what I think is good. And I think it would behoove her to do more interviews about it so that we can hopefully get to a place of conciliation. Behoove. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, wait, you like the word behoove? Else? It's a good word, isn't it? Yes, behoove. Uh, you were okay. so, so happy when that's you heard your, it. That's your favorite word. That came from someone else. Uh, you guys, bottom line, this, this entire thing is ridiculous. It doesn't matter respectfully if she's injured or not. Like, when you take the 30,000 oh, foot view, yeah. this attack on her, she's being vilified, eaten alive by her own party, simply because she was labeled the conservative Democrat by Representative Jayapal. Now, one of the defenses I heard for that aberrant ambush in the restroom was until the LGBTQ community is safe in the restroom, she shouldn't be, nor should any of us. Uh. She's a member of that community, right. obviously. This just underscores why the progressive left's logic is missing, if at all. Uh, and I think the, the issue here as well is the fact that there's zero accountability for those that are rallying the troops against her. If that had been a progressive member of the left, it would have been a homophobic, uh, misogynistic attack. But instead, Twitter is allowed to rally the troops. Mm -hmm. They have a policy specifically prohibiting encouraging incitement, encouraging bullying for a specific individual. We are now seeing that for a sitting senator because of the incendiary quality of all of these righteous social warriors who haven't read the bill themselves and who just want the dopamine hit on the video. So it's now an anything goes mentality because of those progressive leaders mm -hmm. that Joe Biden has caped to. And it's like they yeah. said she had it coming. Right. And it's an interesting point you made about, you know, you can question Fauci and you're nuked off Twitter, but you can post video of a senator in the bathroom, and that just spreads everywhere. Mm -hmm. Tisk, 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 Twitter. Her. Exactly. Tisk, tisk. Exactly. Oh, strong Joe. words from Jesse. That's right. <laughs> I'm fired on all cylinders today. <laughs> Joe Biden's IRS wants to snoop around in your bank account. Big government's stunning invasion of privacy next on The Five. Hey,
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.